free kick. No yellow card. But a free kick. Hearts having a, a really marvellous season. One of the major reasons why Scottish football is going through this apparent renaissance is that Edinburgh is going through the renaissance. That's where the centre of it is. For so many years, Hearts, almost in a sense, becoming a music hall joke. But their supporters, for, for a club that's done nothing for many years, the support is staggering and comforting. Young player Jimmy Sanderson that Hearts have out today. Walter Kidd. And Hearts will fight. No question about that. There he is, Sanderson. Nudge run there by Gary McKay it was. Who came forward, didn't get the pass. Stevie Clark. Kidd cuts off. Drew Jarvie. Looking as sprightly as any of the younger players out there. Clark. Oh, there's a nine. Yes! Clark with it. Yeah, distinct chance here. Now, Sanderson. Neat little jink doesn't come off for him. Good there by Gardner Spears. Uh, better known, of course, as the left sided midfield and front player for St. Mirren. Back then, the left back position almost. Gary Mackay. I wasn't that uh, photography, but I'm told Mackay had a marvellous game against Aberdeen. The rebound. Oh, no, not over. Despite the appeals and the attention of Drew Javi, free kick quickly taken. Uh, Alec Miller enjoying that. Alec Miller second from the right there in that shot. tackling in a match as well and the the kind of injury you can get here is a kind of burn that you fall and slide all into one there's a tendency for a kind of burning to develop Kenny Black Black is hot penalty taker but everybody out there today may be taking penalties as we've just seen Javi. Kenny Black left Rangers and remember him playing right full back for Rangers, hardly ever in midfield, and now watching him play for Hearts, one wonders if Rangers released him far too early, but sometimes you can never tell about these things. There he is. Stocky, powerful, aggressive player. A tremendous shot. Four minutes have passed in this first half. There's still no scoring, and that might be a useful ball. It is as Stevie Clark comes forward. Whoops. Well, certainly the attacker went into the zone, but it didn't really matter. The goalkeeper had the ball. A slight push, I think, by Sanderson. Hearts now have on the field Jimmy Sanderson and Scott Crabb, two of the younger players. And for Sanderson, this is Crabb. John Robertson is also a young player, but with more experience, can he put it away? No. There he is. Oh, I would say about, what, 500,000 pounds worth of talent there? Maybe I'm underselling him. Bit of ball in wrestling. Doesn't work out for either. Kenny Black. Watson. Crab now black little nod of some mid players, but that's a shot. Ooh. Really drilled that in. You felt the vibrations and it's the glass all around the stadium. Oh. 
There certainly was a distinct fear when this tournament was first mooted that it would be far too easy to score goals and we get something like the, the basketball kinds of scores. And that is proving not to be so, largely as players develop skills and strategies for it. And there's no question they take it all deadly seriously. The hearts on the break. Three players coming forward. Quickest move we've seen this half. And he can't get it through. Sanderson was waiting for it. Kid stretching out, bringing it forward himself. It's three against two. There's a rebound, and that was a useful interception by Derek Hamilton. There he is, center of the picture. Dujavi. The old heat in the team. Whoops. Uh, maybe just a, a trifle slow in the tackle now. <laughs> He'll survive. A nice overlap by Watson, and the goalkeeper sees it. Campbell Money. Fitzpatrick, Clark, Stevie Clark. Long will I remember the, one of his famous goals scored in the Aztec Stadium three years ago in front of 100,000 people. Whistle's gone. There's Alec Miller. And uh, Miller uh, absolutely perplexed with his team's performance at Ibrox yesterday where he felt in the first 20 minutes they might have been one or two goals up, according to him. Fitzpatrick, nice break, <laughs> fleeing his half of the, the field as the whistle goes, nothing each at half time. Um, I felt when Hart started off, of course, that uh, if they hadn't taken the opportunities that they clearly got against Manchester City, they might suffer eventually. That might turn out to be so. They badly need a win here, and they're going to drop out totally. Tony Fitzpatrick, the man who sampled English football, came back. I would imagine that it has been difficult. There's a gentleman you might recognize, the man who keeps the ball up more often than anybody else, highly talented gentleman in the crowd. But the game itself is being kept alive by two sets of defenses. They're very tight indeed. Money committing himself almost recklessly. Now, there's an interesting character, Colin McAdam, number 10, signed from Rangers by Hearts, of course. Well, he, he's had experience in between with other teams, but parting in Rangers, he's remembered for. There's McAdam, too short with that. Cameron, well that was weak, a little bit risky that, now, Andy Watson, Mackay, a bit unfortunate, that tackle, looks as if there was a slight aggro developing, this must be a shot, McAdam, easily picked up by Campbell Murray, one of the safest goalkeepers in the Premier Division. Good pair of hands on him. John Robertson, who electrified the tournament last season. Away into the heart support of the back. <laughs> Cody Fitzpatrick has been substituted. As Cameron goes after this, way in the corner. Rebound again. Mistake by the goalkeeper, I think. Henry Smith. This suffers, by the way, tires the legs very easily. That was Kenny Black. Hesitation, but watch it is in. 
should have gone for a rebound, I think. Cameron. A lot of space around Watson. Well, neatly broken up there by Rooney. Oh, too much with that. Far too strong. Very surprising pass that. It's square, and Neil Cooper has it. Will he opt to try the shot? A couple of feet wide now. Counter attack. John Robertson. A buzz every time he gets onto the ball. Taking his eye off it. That's Black again. Watson. McAdam was screaming for it. This will be the shot. And there's a beautiful goal by Watson. one nothing. The deadlock broken at last. The hard supporters are finding their vocal cords again. And that is why, off the rebound, not an easy ball, notice, oh, a deflection too, I think Robertson raising his hand there, as if to claim that. I'll leave the statisticians to work that one out, it certainly came off Robertson. I'll give it to Watson, and there's equaliser. Rooney. Well, that's the way to come back, you just... Let your opponents do half a lap of ball and then hit them hard. Oh dear, where was the covering? Put it away well, but uh, Henry Smith might be in a position to fall out with his defenders about that kind of gap appearing. Here's a great chance. It's in, 2-1, Cooper. I suppose you would have to say the worst thing that has happened to Hearts is scoring that goal because suddenly St. Mirren have found a new lease of life. Look at all the time they were given here. He brings it down, he turns. And away it went. No chance for Henry Smith, 2-1. And little time for Hearts to salvage us. Just under two minutes remaining, just over two minutes remaining. Let me not think it any worse for them. Kid goes in and I think did a little nut, yes. Kai Black some men have pushed everybody back and look at this they break it's three against one Spears good defending by Kid. they don't keep the balls long in this audience Sanderson Nice little reverse pass, which Robertson read well. Tries to go in for it now. Black. Well, we make it a minute left. Time running out for Hart. Oh, very predictable. passes Spears it's in yes 3-1 off the toe of Ian Cameron some of the audience have passed about it some quite delighted there they are pick them up now St Mirren as you may guess and from this neatly taken goal just a gentle little prod off the big left toe 
15 seconds away. And Hearts have only 15 seconds left in this tournament. <laughs> and as if they're not to the fines, the supporters are chanting, we're going to win the league. Well, they may well do that, but they're not now going to win the Soccer Sixes. St Mirren progress, beating Hearts by three goals to one. It hasn't turned out to be Hearts day. Three defeats, and the heart supporters this season quite unaccustomed to that kind of uh, treatment. And I would have thought that was a surprising day. One expected that Hearts, having won it uh, last season, and not, not only won it, but won it with a fair degree of style and re really realised how to play this game, uh, I've been rather jolted by that. But uh, one hopes that John Robinson is uh, going to talk confidently about the future to Dougie Donnelly. Yeah, thanks, Archie. John, not the happiest of circumstances to be speaking to you. I'm afraid your, your reign as tenants champion is over. Well, it certainly seems that way now. Um, but I suppose we weren't expecting to do so well last year when we won it, so uh, I think we'll concentrate on the league this year, Dougie. Uh, can I ask you, is it not too silly a question, is what went wrong this time? Is everybody gunning for you, perhaps, because you are the champion? I think that's possibly the answer. Um, certainly last year everybody was gunning for Rangers because they were the champs. I think you always find that a wee bit harder because teams know you're going to be that a little bit better at them maybe, so they try harder and in the end we've been well beat today. Yeah. Obviously there's tremendous consolation for you, especially from uh, the fans up there. We're going to win the league, they're chanting. You must be delighted the way things are going. I don't think anybody at the club uh, would have believed that at the start of the season, but um, we got into a run and we've built for there and certainly at this uh, stage of the season we're in with a good chance. You had a hard journey yesterday and a hard match at the end, but you must be feeling a, a bit tired at the moment. I feel a wee bit tired now, yeah, but... Uh, I don't think the trip back last night was too bad. I think we're all quite happy at it. Right. So Aberdeen yesterday, the ten and sixes today, and the cup tie next week. It's quite a time for the Hearts, isn't it? It certainly is. Uh, well, we've lost something anyway. I think that's